Tonight, we're off to a haunted house. Hey, Russell. Our paranormal guide is a ghost hunter called Gordon. Well, welcome to the Sorrel House. Let's get you inside and uh, let's get you scared tonight. Ooh. The most haunted house in Savannah. Oh, wow. dear. Two things are going through my mind. Why are we here? And why is my jumper so tight? Well, they don't want to chat. It's fine. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Nanette. Welcome. Hello. Hello. This is Nick Wood. He's the operations manager. Hey, Nick. Hello. I'm Russell. How are you doing? Nice to meet you, Russell. I'm Nanette. Nanette, Hi. pleasure to have you. Thank you. Welcome to Sroweed House. Sod the ghost. This man is creepier than clown porn. The lady of the house for whom the house was designed for. She died tragically. Did she? Leaping from the upper floor balconies to her death, landing head first below down in the courtyard. Brilliant. On top of the murders, the suicides, and other deaths that have taken place on this property, mm -hmm. you compound that with the second bloodiest battle of the American Revolution, this home has seen more tragedy than most other locations in the South. Jeez. What a lovely story, everyone. Brilliant. Things may poke at you, a whisper in your ear. Uh, just be prepared for that. What's the worst thing that's ever been whispered in your ear? <laughs> You're hired. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that is a lie. First stop on our tour is the room every house should have, a haunted surgery. In you go, Mum. No, I don't want to go in there. You go. Now, it is in this room that many ladies have complained about having their dangly earrings played with, tugged on, or even pulled. Is that a euphemism or? No. I don't want to Literally have pulled earrings. right out of their ears. Oh, I thought that was like an Americanism for breasts. No. <laughs> <laughs> like, the joy, oh, my dangly earrings have been played with. <laughs> my dangly earrings have gone into my stomach. Now, I know ghosts aren't real. You know ghosts aren't real. But put me in a spooky dark house with some creepy guys, and I become the world's biggest coward. I'll leave you in Gordon's hands. Wow. Here we go. With the tour done, it's time to turn off all the lights. Okay, did y'all want to stay together? Yeah. For a bit Absolutely. Yes, Armed with our 80s radio, a torch, and that box that flashes when spirits are near, we're ready to find some ghosts. But only if they want to be found. If, if, if they don't, that's absolutely fine too. If there's any ghosts here, can you let us know by coming through this thing. Uh, but if you're upset, don't bother. Just be nice, guys. The tension you feel, like when Gordon's saying, speak to me, speak to me, and you're watching going, don't speak to him, don't speak to him, don't speak, and then they don't, and it's just the relief. Do you want to communicate with us? I want mine. <laughs> <laughs> I can resist. Gordon's leading the way. Yep. You get in the middle, and I'll protect. It's it's like a pensioner sandwich. <laughs> With no ghosts upstairs, Gordon's taking us down. Is everyone with us? We can't leave anyone behind. We're just here passing through. A couple of days, no more. Young boy and his mother looking for fun, that's all. Looking for soul food. Looking for soul food. Dancing clubs. Mysteries. <laughs> and Ludo. Let everyone in, so let's keep that exit nice and safe so we can all run out yeah. when you come. Gordon wants us to meet the ghost of a young slave boy called Jacob. Use any of those devices to say that you're here. Jacob died in mysterious circumstances at a young age whilst being forced to work at Sorrel Weed House. And this is the room he makes contact in. Can you turn on the flashlight? If it does turn on, I'm going to shit my pants. <laughs> Thankfully, my pants are safe for now. Oh, my god. What? Are you getting readings? No. What? That bench has got feet. Lion's feet. Oh, don't be It's a lion bench. Right, enough's enough. Let's bond with Jacob. Mum? Why don't you sit next to Jacob? No, you sit next to him. I'll take a knee. <laughs> Is that all right, Jacob? Whoa, ah! okie dokie. <laughs> Not for me. 
when I put my knee on the lion bench, the ghost detector started flashing like a pervert, which means Jacob's here. I'm going to put my knee on there and see if he moves. <laughs> oh, my God. Ooh, it's all about the knees. Jacob is a leg man. So we're having a bit of fun. We're not taking it seriously. Who fancies a pint? <laughs> and then, from nowhere, this happened. There was a massive bang, and not just me, not just my mum, but Ghost Hunter Gordon and the entire film crew shat their pants. Oh, crikey. Christ, alive. Something literally went bump in the night. Talk us through the possible explanations for what just happened. One, ghost. B, natural disaster. C, house is old. D, Joe. E, ghost. <laughs> ah, fuck off! <laughs> I thought that was a dog. <laughs> I thought it was a ghost dog that you read about. What was that? I don't what know. What was it? I thought it was a ghost dog. What was that? Because something just went flying was, through here. I thought it was a ghost dog. What was it? That's my only explanation. Something went through you. It was a ghost dog. I saw a ghost dog, and that's me done now, and I'm going to have to sleep with my mum again. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know you probably can't see it, and I sound a bit crazy. <laughs> I thought it was a ghost dog that you read about. But I genuinely believe I was visited by some sort of ghost Labrador. Could have been Jacob. It isn't Could just, have like, been honestly. A little child. I don't know. Well, so, just, that, he was riding a dog. <laughs> something just went through here, though. Christ, no wonder they killed him. <laughs> don't be horrible. Scary little shit. This is the coach house, what we would call a coach house in England. It's uh, a carriage. Why, why are you asking these questions now? <laughs> <laughs> Just seen a ghost. So who lived here? Um, <laughs> Come on, you chickens. They, did, what? What are you talking about? The good news. Despite meeting a ghost dog, we survived our second night in Savannah. The bad news? This. I shit myself again and had to sleep with my mum. <laughs> Not ideal. Not ideal. Not what I was planning from this American trip. <laughs>